Good morning. Great to see all of you today. I can see a few of you. Uh, well, I don't see a few of you. The few of you that I'm not seeing obviously had a problem with the time change. So they're not here, but I bet it's going to be a larger crowd than usual in second service today and, and tomorrow night. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for being here on time, setting your clocks ahead. I know how much we enjoy losing an hour's sleep once a year. And, uh, but I'm thankful that we're here together. I'm always thankful when we gather for worship together. And as always, when we gather for worship, we're going to hear the Word of God today. We're going to read the Word of God today. We'll hear and read of God's love for each of us through His Son and through our Savior, Jesus Christ. In addition to hearing and reading about the love of God, I pray that while we are together, we experience the love of God. And the best way to do that is in each other. So if you are able, take a moment now, stand up, greet those around you in the love of God. Then Nehemiah said one of the best verses in the Bible. He told him, do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. You know, it's been close to 2,500 years since Nehemiah uttered those words. And it's as true today as it was then. The joy of the Lord is still our strength. And the people of Jerusalem finally saw the error of their past ways. They had a great temple to worship and sacrifice in. They had the security of being surrounded by the walls of the city. And they had returned to a favorable relationship with God the Father. And these were the final preparations for, that God had prior to sending his son. And the prophet Malachi came and gave them further instructions as to how they should be living according to their, the law that Ezra had read to them. But this would be the last time that they would hear from God for the next 400 years. And at that time, Malachi pro prophesied that there would be one who would come to first prepare the way of the Lord, the way for the Savior of the world. And the words of prophecy from Malachi were speaking, of course, about John the Baptist, just as Isaiah had previously prophesied. This is the last chapter of the Old Testament section of the story, but it's really not the end of anything. It's the beginning of the greatest story ever told, the story of Jesus. This is all part of it. This is why I prayed today that we would all see that God directed his story that included a lot of twists and turns, a lot of hard times, a lot of bad times, but all the roads led to the Savior Christ. I pray that we would all have the same attitude that the people of Jerusalem had concerning God's word and study it every chance we got and get excited when we do. Most of all today, I pray that we would all see that our joy in life is a gift from God and his joy is our strength. We've here today in the joy of the Lord. Amen.
Bri, bri, bri. That's all, folks.